you should definitely sign up for our 100-day wellness challenge. Um, it starts on Monday. Uh, and it's basically just committing to doing some sort of wellness practice every day for 100 days till I believe it's April 14th. Just to sort of program that into your your day, into your routine. So it could be a yoga class. It could be as simple as a 10-minute meditation. could be online. could be in the studio. So there's lots of flexibility there. But it's just starting to get you into that mode and setting that programming for 2021. So if you, if you can join us for that, awesome. You can sign up on the website. It's right there on the homepage. Okay. Let's get started, everybody. Come to center, feet together, toes and heels touch. Find a spot to focus on, on the wall in front of you. Good morning, Hugh, great to see you. Stretch the top of the head up towards the ceiling. Pull your belly in tight. Have a great class, everybody. Let's begin. Pranayama, standing deep breathing. Interlace your fingers, touch your knuckles underneath your chin. Knuckles touching your chin, thumbs brushing your throat. Swallow a few times. And begin, inhale, lift your elbows up towards the ceiling. Belly in tight, contract your abdominal wall, taking a full breath. Exhale, everything out. Push the chin back. Look for the wall behind you. Squeeze your elbows together tight. Inhale, chin down. Press the chin into the knuckles. Lift your elbows up. Fill up your lungs. Exhale, head back. Legs straight, contract your thighs, push your heels into the floor. Spine straight, elbows touch. Inhale, chin down. The arms and head move simultaneously. As your chin comes down, elbows lift up to the ceiling, taking more air. Exhale, head back. Mouth open wide, loud H-A ha sound. Squeeze your elbows together tight. Inhale, chin down. Two, three, four, five. Elbows up. Six. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, chin down. Pull the belly in. Push your heels into the floor. Spine straight. Exhale, head back. As the head goes back, elbows forward, elbows touch. Inhale, chin down. Fill up your lungs. You're pulling in oxygen, pulling in energy, priming yourself for the class. Elbows lift. Exhale, head back. Energizing your body for the whole rest of your day. Squeeze your elbows together tight. Inhale, chin down. Stomach in. Belly tight. Lift elbows up to the ceiling. Exhale, head back. Push the chin back. Push the chin back. Little crunchy in the back of the neck. That's okay. Elbows touch. Inhale, chin down. Just starting to warm things up to access the cervical spine. Belly in tight. Taking full lung breath, exhale, head back. Two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, chin down. Two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, head back. Two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, chin down. Last two. Warm it up. Fill up your lungs, keep your legs solid, stretch up, exhale, head back. Warming up your body from the inside out. Push your chin back, elbows touch, inhale, chin down. Really important to use the friction in the throat here. Stomach in tight, stretch the elbows up to the ceiling. Exhale, head back. Push the chin back. Way, way back. Look for the wall behind you. Squeeze elbows tight. Release. Arms down by your sides. You can roll out the neck and shoulders if you need to. A little head bubble. Swallow a few times. And second set. Right into it. Interlace fingers. If you're feeling up to it, 
cross the opposite hand, opposite thumb on top. Feels a little weird. Touch knuckles under chin, pull belly in tight, stretch top of the head up towards the ceiling, swallow a few times. Begin, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, elbows up, six, exhale, one, two, head back, three, four, five, six, inhale, chin down, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, head back, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, chin down. These look really good, everybody. One more weight in the heels, Myra. Push the heels down, elbows lift, exhale, head back. Spine straight, pull the belly in tight, squeeze your elbows together tight, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, one, two, three, four, head back, five, six, inhale, chin down. Super belly in, suck it in and up, elbows lift, exhale, keep the belly in. Really training the abdominal muscles to stay in, push the chin back, squeeze elbows together tight, Inhale, chin down. A lot of lower back problems come from weak abdominals. Stretch elbows all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale, head back. Push the chin back. Push the chin back. Squeeze your elbows together tight. Inhale, chin down. Make a connection with the abdominals. Push the heels into the floor. Lift elbows up to the ceiling. Exhale, head back. Mary Jarvis always says, once you pull the belly in, you leave it in. Squeeze the elbows tight. Inhale, chin down for the whole rest of the class. Push the chin into the knuckles. Knuckles resist. The elbows lift all the way up. Exhale, push the knuckles into the chin. Chin resists. Eyes way, way back. Squeeze elbows together tight. Inhale, chin down. Two, three, four, five, six, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, even stronger, inhale, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, last one, make it as big a breath as you possibly can, fill up your lungs, even more, exhale, everything out, push the chin back, squeeze your elbows, everything out. When you think you're empty, push the chin back, make a vacuum, exhale, one more, and then release, arms down by your sides, half moon pose, Ardha Chandrasana, bring your arms out, up over the head, sideways, palms together, interlock your fingers, release your index fingers and cross your thumbs. Palms together like glue, all the way up to the wrists. Vegan glue, of course. Chin away from the chest. Weight back into the heels. Yeah, shift the body weight back. Push the heels down. Stretch the elbows up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath. Bend right and left a couple of times. Right and left. Right and left. Right and left. As you come through the center, stretch fingertips up even more. Feel the lengthening down the whole side of the body. And come back, stop in the middle. Hips forward, weight in the heels, chin up, belly in. Take a deep breath, stretch up as much as possible. In an absolutely straight line, bend your body to the right. Push your hips out to the left as far as you can. Beyond your normal flexibility. Hips to the left, fingertips to the right. Press your left heel down into the floor, contract your thighs. Inhale, puff up the rib cage, feel the left side ribs lift up towards the ceiling. One more chin up, Kirsten. Push the fingertips to the right as far as possible. Belly in, pull belly button away from the wall in front of you. Push hips left, push fingertips right. Come down all the way to your maximum. Smiling happy face. 
Inhale, come back up to the top. Palms together, inhale, stretch up to the ceiling. Slowly bend your body to the left. In an absolutely straight line, push your hips out to the right as far as possible. Right hip forward. Scoop left shoulder forward. Everything in a straight line. Push the hips out to the right more. Further than you think you can. Push the hips out to the right. Inhale. Feel a whole right side rib cage lift up towards the ceiling. Belly in. Push the right heel into the floor. Push the fingertips to the left. Chin up. Upper body down one more. Change. Inhale back up to the top. First set, backward bending. Bring your head back as far as it goes. Squeeze hands, palms together tight. Inhale, stretch fingertips up to the ceiling. Lift your breastbone up. Pull your arms back. Right away, start to point towards the wall behind you. Upper back, middle back, lower back. Your whole spine, backward bending. Hips forward. Chest, breastbone lifts. Squeeze your palms tight. Push your fingertips away from your face. Good, Eric. Elbows straight. Fingertips press away from nose. Arms back. Reach back. More back, body weight back into the heels. Try to fall down backwards. Inhale, slowly come back up to the top. Roll the weight forward to the toes. Stretch up and slowly bend your body forward. Come down, up, out, over, down. Keep the belly in. Keep the thighs contracted. Yeah, good transitions all the way down. Hands touch the floor. Shake it out if you need to. Bend the knees a few times. Roll the head around, whatever you need. Over time, you can just go zoop right into the posture because it feels good, because you can. Bend your knees, grab your heels from behind, step on all five fingers of each hand. Little fingers side by side, elbows behind your legs on the calf muscles. Don't lose the grip. Pada Hastasana, hands to feet pose. Pull on your heels. Stretch your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Stomach on your thighs, chest on your knees. Face on your shins, below your knees. Glue everything together, nice and tight. It's good, Michael. Weight forward in the toes, roll the body weight forward. Big toes push down. As hips push up to the ceiling, contract your thighs. Legs solid. Once the legs are straight, use the arms more. Pull on your heels. Push the top of your head down. Lengthen your spine. Touch the top of the head to the feet. Eyes open, breathing calm. Release. Recatch the arms with the ears. Keep a straight spine. Inhale, come all the way back up to the top. Then arms down by your sides. Take a breath. Second set, the arms out, up over the head, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs. Keep your chin up, chin away from the chest. You should see, if you have a mirror, see the gap, see the space right there between chin and collarbone. Belly in, squeeze palms, inhale, stretch up. Slowly bend your body to the right. Push your hips out to the left. Squeeze inner thighs together, pull belly in tight. Make those two corrections and the hips automatically start to line up to the front wall. Push your hips left more. It's really nice, Andrea. Push hips left. Squeeze palms, push fingertips right. It's beautiful, Tara. One more chin up. Feels a little bit like it's more than you should. Chin up. Yeah, that's it. It's good, Hugh. Belly in. Everybody, press the left heel into the floor. Push your hips out to the left. Push your fingertips to the right so the whole left side of your body is stretching. Change. Come back up to the top. Inhale, stretch up. Keep the chin up. Keep the belly in. Slowly bend your body to the left in an absolutely straight line. 
my teacher years ago, he was teaching a class, first thing, half moon pose, the whole posture, all he said was stomach in, chin up. Stomach in, chin up. Stomach in, chin up. The rest of the posture just kind of happens. Push your hips to the right. Push your fingertips to the left. Pull your belly in. Keep your chin away from the chest. Bring your upper body down all the way. Change. Slowly come back up to the top. Bring your head back as far as it goes. Backward bending. Squeeze your palms. Take a deep breath, stretch fingertips up to the ceiling, lift your breastbone up, keep it lifted, pull the arms back, right away start to point towards the wall behind you, hips automatically forward to the mirror, forward to the front wall, weight back into the heels, everybody roll the weight back, push your heels into the floor, lift your breastbone up, squeeze your palms, push the fingertips away, arms back, nice Angelica, reach back, everybody, Point to the floor behind you. Go all the way back. Inhale, all the way back up to the top. Stretch up, weight forward in the toes, and slowly bring your body down. Hands, touch the floor in front of you. Sweep the arms around. Scoop up your heels from behind. Second set, Padahastasana. Scoop up the heels. Elbows behind the legs on the calf muscles. Don't lose the grip. Pull and stretch your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Stomach on your thighs, chest on your knees. Bring your head down. Touch your face on your shins below your knees. Everything glued together. No gap. No light space in between. Yeah, head, forehead to shins. Good correction, Myra. Weight forward. Big toes push down. Hips up to the ceiling. Once you hit your maximum, you can't pull anymore. Start to push. Push balls of the feet down. Push knuckles down into the floor. Push knees back with the help of the upper body. Push hips up to the ceiling. Eyes open, forehead on your shins. Bring your attention to your your collarbone, your breastbone. Push everything down. Lengthen your spine. Try to touch the top of the head to the feet. Release, arms catch with the ears, straight spine, hoist your body all the way back up to the top, arms down, take a breath, Utkatasana, awkward pose, building heat in the body, separate your feet, hip width distance between the toes and the heels, arms up, parallel to the floor, thumbs pressed, index fingers, triceps, nice tight, contracted, pull your belly in, stomach in tight, eyes focused one spot, bend your knees, Sit your hips down right away, thighs parallel to the floor. Zoop. Right away, hips down, fingertips forward. Lift your chest, arch your upper body back. Even more hips down, Rob, it's good. Fingertips forward, lift the breastbone. Uh, lift your chest, lean upper body back, lean back, way back, more back, change, come back up. Second part, up on the toes, big toes push down, heels up off the floor. Pull the belly in tight. Stretch the top of your head up towards the ceiling. Keep the eyes focused one spot. Bend your knees. Sit down right away. Thighs parallel to the floor. Go. Hips down. Come up high on the toes. Knees up. Heels up. Upper body back. One more upper body back, Michael. Everybody push ankles forward. Heels up higher. Stretch the top of the head up to the ceiling. Pull the belly in tight. Change, come back up. Third part, come up a little bit on the toes. Squeeze your knees together tight. Inner thighs press together. Keep the stomach in. Top of the head up to the ceiling and slowly lower down. Upper body back. Hips, shoulders, head, everything touching the wall behind you. Keep the straight spine. Even your lower back, like it's touching the wall behind you. Point your tailbone down. Press your inner thighs into each other. Top of the head continuously up to the ceiling. So good, everybody. Hips hover just off the heels. Squeeze the knees more. Inhale and slowly come back up. Slide back up the wall. And change. Feet together, arms down by your sides. Take a breath. Second set. Open up your feet. Hip width distance between the toes and the heels. Arms up. 
parallel to the floor. Thumbs pressed to your index fingers, triceps contract. Pull your belly in, hold it in tight. Focus one spot, bend your knees, sit down right away. Thighs parallel to the floor. Already a little bit warmer, second set. Can you get all the way down there? Hips and knees on the same horizontal plane. Stretch fingertips forward, push the fingertips forward, lift your chest, arch your upper body back, lean back, weight in the heels, lean back, way back, more back, change, come back up. Second part, up on the toes, big toes push down, heels up, top of the head, continuously stretch up towards the ceiling, pull the belly in tight, bend your knees, sit down on top of the toes, come up high on the toes, knees up, heels up, upper body back, spine straight, thumbs press the index fingers, continuously push the top of your head up towards the ceiling, bend your knees, sit your hips down one more. Change, come back up. Third part, a little bit on the toes. Squeeze your knees together tight, inner thighs pressed together. Top of the head, keep stretching up towards the ceiling, push the top of the head away and slowly lower down. It's like somebody's got your head and they're just pulling it up towards the ceiling. Spine stays straight the whole time, upper body back. Press the inner thighs together, upper body back. Good. Keep that single point of focus. Don't let the eyes dart around. Shoulders back, knees together. Hips hover just off the heels. Squeeze the knees one more. Push big toes down. Inhale, slowly come back up. Come all the way back up to the top. Release. Feet together. Arms down by your side. Eagle pose, Gaurasana, arms up over the head sideways, palms touch. Swing the right arm under the left, cross at the elbows, cross at the wrists, thumbs towards your face, little fingers towards the mirror. Pull the elbows down, fingertips go below the nose. Lift your chest, arch the upper body back, sit the hips down. Right away, thighs parallel to the floor. Swing your right leg up over the left, cross your legs. Hook your right foot under your left calf muscle. Bend your knee and sit down, creating as much compression through the major joints in the body as you can. Pull elbows down, fingertips below the nose. Bend your knees, sit lower. Lift your chest. Arch your upper body back at the end. Change. Feet together. Arms up over your head, palms touch. Swing your left arm under the right. Cross and twist. Palms together, thumbs towards your face. Hold your elbows down. Bend your knees. Sit down as low as you can. Hips down low. Lift your chest. Arch your upper body back. Swing your left leg up over the right. Cross your legs. Hook your left foot under the right calf muscle. Yes. Hook your toes under. If they're not quite there, bend the knee, sit down more. Point your toes down towards the ankle, towards your heel. Hips down. Pull elbows down a lot. Fingertips directly below the nose. Lift your chest. Everybody, lift chest, breastbone. Arch the upper body back at the end. Change, feet together, arms up over the head, palms touch. Finding that little back bend can be tricky with the arms crossed in front of you. Second set, right arm under the left, cross and twist, palms together, thumbs toward you. Pull the elbows down, bend your knees, sit down as low as you can. Lift your chest, arch the upper body back. Right leg high up and over the left, cross your legs. Hook your right foot under the left calf muscle. Bend your knees, sit down a lot. Pull elbows down, fingertips below the nose. Lift chest. Find the back bend here. Lift the breastbone. Bring your shoulders back more if you can. Change. Feet together. Arms up over the head, palms touch. Swing your left arm under the right. Cross and twist. Palms together, thumbs towards your face. Pull your elbows down, fingertips go below the nose. Bend your knees, sit down as low as possible. Hips down low, lift your chest, arch your upper body back. Swing your left leg high up and over the right, cross your legs. Hook your left foot under the right calf muscle. Knees to the left, 
Pull your elbows down, fingertips go below the nose. Bend your knees, sit lower. Lift chest, breastbone, arch the upper body back at the end. Change, feet together, arms up over the head, palms touch. Arms down by your sides. Moving into the balancing series, standing head to knees first. Dande Amana, Janusharasana. Yeah, things starting to warm up a little bit. Good. Keep the breath calm and steady. Standing head to knee, right leg up, thigh parallel to the floor. Left leg solid. Keep the weight forward in the toes. Kneecap lifted, thigh contracts. Pull the belly in, inhale, lift the chest. Round your spine, reach down, grab your right foot in front of you. 10 fingers interlace right at the ball of your foot. Standing leg solid. Eyes focused one spot on yourself in the mirror, of one spot on the wall in front of you. Keep the standing leg straight. You know it's not going to wobble. Inhale, right leg lift up. Take your time with it. Kick your heel forward. Flex your whole foot back towards you. Feel the stretch all the way down the back of your right leg. Heel forward a lot. Contract both thighs. Both legs straight. Pull elbows down. Elbows touch your calf muscle. Round your spine, belly in. Elbows go down below your calf muscle. Contract the standing leg, left leg solid one more. Slowly straighten the arms. Bend your knee and release. Feet together, arms down by your sides. Yeah, other side. Left leg up, thigh parallel to the floor. Standing leg solid, one piece. Contract the thigh, feel the kneecap lift. Pull the belly in tight, inhale, lift up out of the waist, reach down, grab your left foot, 10 fingers interlaced right at the ball of your foot. Eyes focused one spot. Standing legs solid. Inhale, left leg lift up. Kick your heel forward. Flex your whole foot back towards you. Both legs straight. Pull your elbows down. Yeah, just hop back in. Standing leg solid. Always back to the right le standing leg. Make sure it's straight. Elbows down, elbows below the calf muscle. Wherever you are in the posture, contract the right thigh. Straighten the arms. Bend your knee. Change, feet together, arms down by your sides. Good control. Second set, number two, right leg up, thigh parallel to the floor. Stomach in, inhale, lift up out of the waist. Really pull the belly in tight and then round. Reach down, grab your right foot in front of you. The belly stays in as you reach to really get that stretch through the lower back and support. Standing leg solid, you've got this foot in front of you. Inhale, right leg lift up. Kick your heel forward. Flex your whole foot back from the ankle. Both legs straight. Elbows down. Elbows touch the calf muscle. Pull elbows down below your calf muscle. Tuck your chin. Round your spine. Forehead to your knee. Go back to the standing leg. Left leg solid. Slowly straight head up. Straighten the arms. Bend the knee. Release feet together. Arms down by your sides. Other side. Left leg up. Thigh parallel to the floor. Make up your mind. Right leg solid. Contract your thigh. Pull the belly in. Inhale. Lift the chest. Round your body down. Reach down. Grab your right foot in front of you. Ten fingers interlaced right at the ball of your foot. Standing leg solid. You know it's not going to bend. Inhale. Left leg lift up. Kick your heel forward. Flex your whole foot back towards your face. Good, Hugh. Both legs straight. 
elbows down, elbows touch your calf muscle. Keep kicking heel forward. Elbows below your calf muscle, wherever you are in the posture, make sure the standing leg is solid, tuck your chin. Round your body down. Forehead to knee. Reverse, slowly head up. Straighten the arms, bend your knee. Release feet together, arms down by your sides. Standing bow, Dandeya Mana, Dhanurasana, left arm up towards the ceiling. Arm with the ear, turn the right hand all the way out, reach back, grab the inside arch of your foot. All five fingers together. Squeeze your knees together tight, inner thighs pressed together. Inhale, stretch fingertips up to the ceiling, lift up out of the waist, swipe your thighs, and charge your body forward. Come down. Right away, kick right leg back and up towards the ceiling. Fingertips and toes, kick and stretch in opposite directions. Body down, stretch your left hand forward. So much, your left shoulder slides forward, touch it under your chin. Right shoulder back, invisible behind you. Two shoulders in one line, body down, point your toes more, kick. Press your big toe into the floor, contract your left thigh. Body down, point your right toes, kick up more. Kick up harder. Fingertips and toes push apart. Feel the compression in the lower back, the squeeze in the right glute. Try to cramp your glute, point your toes up to the ceiling more. Kick up, kick higher, touch the ceiling one more time, kick. Change, take your time. Yeah, slowly come back up. I know some of you are just getting back in, but awesome, you are getting back in. Other side, right arm up, arm with your ear. Turn your left hand all the way out, reach back, grab inside arch of your foot, all five fingers together. Squeeze the knees together, right leg solid, contract your thigh, take in a deep breath. Stretch the fingertips up, swipe your thighs and charge your body forward. Come down. Right hand forward to the wall in front of you. Try to touch it. Touch your right shoulder under your chin. Same time, left shoulder goes back, invisible behind you. Press your big toe down, contract your right thigh. Feel the stretch in the back of your right leg. Body down, kick. Right shoulder down, kick. Point your left toes up towards the ceiling. Feel the squeeze in your lower back. Try to cramp your left glute. Point your toes more, kick up more. Right hand forward, left toes kick up, kick more. Kick harder. Yes, good body down rub. Point your toes, try to touch the ceiling. Press your thumb to your index finger. Point your toes up to the ceiling, kick. Change, slowly come back up. Feet together, arms down by your sides. Really quite interesting, like whatever is going on in our neck shoulder area translates into our little fingertips. So if you notice like in a posture like this or an awkward that the, the fingers are open or the thumb doesn't wanna play with the rest of the fingers, that's something's tight in your neck. So press the thumb so all the fingers are together and you start to address whatever is going on in the neck and shoulder. Just interesting how our body works. Second set, uh, left arm up, arm with your ear. Turn the right hand all the way out, reach back, grab inside of the foot, right at the ankle. All five fingers together, squeeze the knees. Take in a deep breath, stretch the left hand up to the ceiling, lift, swipe the thighs, charge your body forward, come down 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, body down, 12, 11, hold it here, 10, find your maximum, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
one slowly come back out. That was awesome. Everybody held. Other side, right arm up. Turn the left hand all the way out. Reach back. Grab the inside arch of the foot. All five fingers together. Squeeze the inner thighs. So you have to do it again. No pressure. Press big toe. Right leg solid. Deep inhale. Stretch up. Swipe your thighs. Charge your body forward. Come down. 20. 19. 18. 17. 16. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, slowly come back up. Feet together, arms down by your sides. Take a step to the back of your space. Feet together, balancing stick pose. Make sure you're not gonna kick something behind you. Arms up over your head, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs, palms together tight. Chin up, throat visible. Right foot forward, left toes off the floor. Every muscle contracted. Keep the arms with the ears. Inhale, stretch up. Swipe your thighs. Charge your body forward. Come down. Body down, leg up. Whole body, straight line, parallel to the floor. Push fingertips forward. Stretch toes to the back wall. Everybody stretch. Arms and ears together. Chin away from the chest. Try to touch the wall in front of you. Stretch. Change. Step back. Feet together. It's okay. Left leg forward. Right toes off the floor. Every muscle contracted. Take a deep breath. Really stretch up. Swipe your thighs. Charge your body forward. Come down. Whole body straight line. Parallel to the floor. Body down, leg up. Arms and ears together. Fingertips and toes stretch apart in opposite direction. directions. Chest down, leg up. Everybody stretch. Change. Step back. Feet together. Arms down by your sides. Take a breath. Second set, go arms over the head, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs, chin up, belly in, right foot forward, left toes off the floor. Everybody bring your back foot up another six inches so you feel the right butt cheeks start to squeeze. Take a deep breath, stretch up right away, body down, whole body, straight line, capital letter T from the side. Like terrific posture, everybody body down, leg up, Squeeze your palms, try to touch the front wall. One more chest down, Tara. Body down, body, yes, squeeze the palms, stretch. Change, come back up. Feet together, left leg forward, right toes off the floor. Every muscle contracted, take a deep breath, stretch up. Swipe your thighs, come down, chest down, leg up. Whole body, straight line. Every muscle contracted, leg up, Myra. Point the toes, yes, squeeze the palms, squeeze your butt cheek. Everybody touch the front wall, stretch. Change, slowly come back up, feet together, arms down by your sides. Turn to your left, step to the left of your mat, your towel. Arms up over the head, palms together, standing separate leg stretching, Dande, Amana, Dipada, Paschimottanasana. Arms up, palms together, big step out to the right, arms down, parallel to the floor. Turn your toes in, pigeon toe the feet slightly, inhale, lift the breastbone, keep it lifted. Roll the weight forward and slowly come down. Lead with your chest, chest out, chin forward, all the way down. Weight in the toes, all the way down. Reach back, grab your heels from behind. Step on all five fingers of each hand. Wrap your elbows in towards the shins, towards the calf muscles. Chin up away from your chest. Look at the floor right between the feet. Pull on your heels. Stretch your body down from the lower spine. Eyes on the floor. Keep the weight forward. Thighs contract. Push your hips up towards the ceiling. Legs are solid. Thighs contract. Tailbone push up towards the ceiling. Keep your eyes on the floor right between the feet. Try to touch your forehead right to that spot you're looking at. Almost there, Rob. Almost there, Andrea. Push chest collarbone down. 
change. Release the grip. Straight spine. Hoist your body back up to the top. Right foot in. Arms over the head. Palms touch. Arms down by your sides. Second set. Go. Arms over the head. Palms together. Right into it. Big step out to the right. Arms down parallel to the floor. Turn the toes in. Inhale. Lift the chest. Roll the weight forward. Slowly come down. Chest out. Chin forward, all the way down. Reach back, scoop up the heels from behind. Second set, notice, already a little bit more warmed up. Maybe you can go deeper into the posture. Turn the toes in. Pull on your heels. Thighs contract. Hips push up towards the ceiling. Pull on your heels. Aim your forehead for the floor right between your feet. It's good shoulders, Myra. Shoulders away from your ears, a little bit chin up. It's like your hairline aimed right for the floor. Change, release the grip, weight in the toes. Straight spine come all the way back up. Right foot in, arms over the head, palms touch. Arms down by your sides. Chikanasana, triangle pose. Arms over the head sideways, palms touch. Giant step out to the right, arms down parallel to the floor. Push your hips forward, pull your arms back. Inhale, lift the breastbone, turn your right foot all the way out to the right. Bend your right knee, sit your hips down, right thigh parallel to the floor. Turn your palms, chin to your left shoulder, chin shoulder touch, pull the belly in, inhale and move both arms at the same time, right elbow to your knee. Left arm straight up to the ceiling. Here's another spot where the fingers like to wander apart, right? Press the thumb to the index finger. Like a line of energy shooting out of your fingertips, straight up to the ceiling. Bend your right knee, sit down more. Pull the belly in. Contract your left thigh. Push the outside edge of your left foot into the floor. Bend your right knee, sit down lower. Turn, twist your head. Line up your nose with your thumb. Change, body up, straighten the leg, turn your right foot in. Hips forward, arms back. Inhale, lift the chest, turn your left foot out. Bend your left knee, sit down, left thigh, parallel to the floor. Bend the knee, sit down. Flip the palms, chin to the right shoulder. Yeah, suck your stomach in, hold it in tight. Inhale, move both arms at the same time. Left arm, elbow touching at the knee. Fingertips touch the big toe, no pressure against the floor. Right arm straight up towards the ceiling. Everybody turn your head, line up your nose with your right thumb. Contract your right thigh, push the outside edge right foot into the floor, belly tight, bend your left knee, sit lower, Push the right fingertips up to the ceiling, create as much space as possible between left hand, right hand. Change, body up, straighten the leg, turn your right foot in, hips, uh, right foot step back, arms over the head, palms touch, arms down by your sides, take a breath. Second set, arms up over the head, palms together. Big step out to the right, arms down, parallel to the floor. Hips forward, arms back, inhale, lift the chest, turn the right foot out to the right, bend your right knee, sit down, right thigh, parallel to the floor. Hips down, get all the way down there, flip your palms, chin to your shoulder, pull the belly in, inhale, and move both arms at the same time, right elbow to the right knee. Left hand straight up towards the ceiling, two arms stretching apart opposite directions. Good, if you can, bend the knee more, Tara. Sit the hips lower. Yeah, sit the hips lower. Eventually, right thigh, femur bone, parallel to the floor. Same thing, Rob. Bend your right knee, sit down more. Everybody, left hand fingertips, push straight up towards the ceiling. Contract your left thigh, push the outside edge of the left foot into the floor, pull the lower belly in. Inhale, come back up. Upper body, then the leg, then turn the foot in. 
hips forward, arms back. Inhale, lift the chest. Turn your left foot out, bend your left knee, sit down, left thigh parallel to the floor. Turn the palms, chin to the right shoulder, chin shoulder touch. Pull the belly in tight. Inhale, move both arms at the same time. Elbow to knee, not above, not below. Elbow directly at the knee. Fingertips touch the floor, just above the big toe. Right hand, stretch up to the ceiling. Two arms stretching apart, opposite directions. Use your elbow, push your knee back to the wall behind you. Push your right hand straight up to the ceiling. Turn your head all the way, line up your nose with your right thumb. Pull the lower belly in. Change, body up, straighten the leg. Turn the, right, the left foot in, step the right foot back to the place. Arms over the head, palms touch. Arms down by your sides. Standing separate leg, head to knee. Take a breath. Arms out, up over the head, sideways. Palms touch, cross only your thumbs. Take a big step out to the right. Pick up toes, turn, face the right. Push your left hip forward, two hips in one line. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Two hips stay lined up to the top edge of your mat. Tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, stretch up. Pull the belly in, throat choked. Slowly round your body down, chin to chest. Curl down all the way. Touch your forehead to your knee. Fingertips touch just in front of your big toe. Push the floor away. Pull the belly in. Slide your forehead up as high as you can on your knee. Good. If you can, flatten the palms together. As you push into the floor, you'll be able to straighten your elbows, really tuck your chin, create that throat choking sensation, forehead one more higher, change. Slowly come back up, all the way back up to the top. Kind of feels like you're turning yourself inside out a little bit. Turn to the center. Pick up toes, turn face the left. Push your right hip forward, two hips in one line. Squeeze inner thighs. Tuck chin to chest. Stretch fingertips up to the ceiling, pull belly tight. Slowly round your body down, chin to chest. Belly in, legs straight. All the way down, touch your forehead to your knee. Go a little wider step, Tara. Slide the back foot out. More and more and more and more. Good, and then see if you can straighten the left leg a little bit more now. Yeah, a wider step can help. Push fingertips into the floor, pull belly in, slide forehead higher on your knee. Change arms with ears, uncoil the spine, come all the way back up to the top, turn to the center, feet together, arms down by your side. Take a breath. Second set, arms up over the head, palms touch. Big step out to the right. Pick up your toes, turn, face the, face the right. Push the left hip forward, two hips in one line. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Tuck your chin, throat choked. Stretch up, arms catch the back of the head. Slowly round, upper back, middle back, lower back. You get that throat choked sensation right away. Forehead, touch your right knee. Bend your knee if you need to. The goal is to get forehead and knee to touch. And then over time, you can start to straighten the leg. But the forehead and knee stay touching. So Rob, bend the knee slightly. So you, yeah, touch forehead. Touch it there. Keep them together. Keep that connection. Start to push the forehead into the knee and maybe the leg straightens one more. Change, arms with ears, come all the way back up to the top. But you maintain that connection the whole time. Stretch up, turn to the center, stretch up, turn face the left, push the right hip forward, tuck the chin a lot, throat choked, stretch up, arms catch the ears, slowly round your body down, chin to chest. Curl down, 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 forehead to knee. Bend the left knee slightly if you need to. Slide the forehead up as high as you can on the knee. Push the left heel down. 
Andrea push left hip up towards the ceiling. Yeah, so the two hips start to level off. Push the knee back with the help of the forehead. Stomach in, forehead, one more higher. Change, slowly come back up. Really nice, Hugh, all the way back up to the top. Turn to the center. Right foot in, arms down by your sides. That was both sides, right? Yeah. Turn back, face the front. Tree moving into a tree and toe stand. Feet together, toes and heels touch. The final standing postures bring your right foot up, grab from underneath, lift it up all the way. Heel up to the hip joint, sole of your foot facing the ceiling. Right knee down, two knees in one line. If you can balance, bring the right hand up. Thumb right over the breastbone. Push the crown of your head up to the ceiling. Big toe push down, top of the head push up. The spine lengthening in between. So you give yourself a little bit of traction right here. Two hips level with the floor, two shoulders level with the floor. Pull the belly in, point your tailbone down. Contract your left thigh, keep it solid. Hold it there. Everybody, top of the head up to the ceiling, grow another inch. Change. Right foot down, left foot up. If you're really advanced, they happen at the same time. Do a little levitation right there. Why not? Hold on with your right hand. Slowly bring your left hand up, or slowly bring your left knee down towards the floor. Right hand up, thumb over the breastbone. Push the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. Pull the belly in, point your tailbone down. Big toe push down away from top of the head, stretching up towards the ceiling, lengthen up out of your waist. Change. Feet together, arms down by your sides. It's opening up the hips, preparing the hips and the knees for postures like lotus that come later. Second set, toe stand if you're ready. Right foot up, grab from underneath, lift it up all the way. Otherwise, just do another treat. Hold on with the left hand, yeah. Right hand up, thumb over the heart. Thumb over the breastbone. If you're ready, focus on the floor in front of you. Slowly bend your body down. I apologize for my rights and lefts. I know they're screwed up. Hands touch the floor in front of you. Bend your knee. Bring your hips all the way down. Once the hips are down, hover just over the heel. Walk your hands back. Balance on the fingertips. Right knee down. Two knees level with the floor. Slowly left hand up, thumb over the heart. Right hand up, palms together. Hips up off your heel. Toe stands, take your time. Tree pose, release. Feet together, arms down by your sides. Other side, left foot up. Grab from underneath, lift it up all the way, heel up to the hip joint. Sole of your foot facing the ceiling. Left hand up, thumb over the heart. Focus on the floor in front of you. If you're moving into toe stand, pull belly in. Palms together, slowly bend your body down. Hands touch the floor in front of you. Shift the weight to your fingertips. Bend your knee. Bring your hips down. Hover just over your heel. Hands to both sides. Upper body back. Spine straight. Push big toe down. Hips up off the heel. If you can balance, left hand up first. Right hand up to meet it. Elbows in, Michael. 
Yeah, that's okay. Rest bone lifts. Hands to the floor. Push the floor away. Straighten the leg. Come all the way back up to the top. Toe stand. Tree pose release. Feet together. Arms down by your sides. Beautiful, everyone. And readjust your cameras so I can see you on the floor. And turn around. Lie down on your back for a quick savasana. Heels together, toes fall open. Arms on your towel, palms face up towards the ceiling. I was listening to a lecture this morning and a topic came up that I find really interesting. They were talking about this part of yogic philosophy in Sanskrit, it's called the gunas, G-U-N-A-S. And there's three of them. And according to yogic philosophy, every, everything, every object, every person, everything, in the material world contains all of these three gunas to some level. We'll talk about them a little bit more as we go. Bring the right leg up, wind removing pose. Interlace 10 fingers just below the knee. Thumbs crossed. Pull the right knee down towards the right shoulder. Keep your left leg flat on the floor, calf muscle touching, elbows in, shoulders down away from the ears. Pull the right knee down a little extra hard. Feel the compression through the right side hip joint. And change. Right leg down, left leg up. 10 fingers interlace, thumbs cross, elbows in. Make sure right leg, calf muscle on the floor, and pull the left knee down towards the left shoulder. Shoulders away from ears. Pull the knee down a little extra hard. Feel the compression through the left side hip joint. Change. Left leg down. Right away, both legs up. Grab elbows each other over the legs. Or as high as you can. If it's not quite elbows, get as high as possible. Bring your head back down to the floor. Nice, tight, compact grip. Good things come in, small packages. Push the top of the head away from the tailbone. A little bit throat choked, eventually... The back of your neck will be flat on the floor. Pull your lower belly down. Press your lower back into the floor. Whole spine touching. Change. Arms and legs down. Palms facing up. Completely relax. Second set, right leg up, interlace 10 fingers, just below the knee, pull the right knee down towards the right shoulder, hug the elbows into the sides, shoulders away from the ears, pull the right knee down. Make sure as you do, the right shoulder doesn't start to lift up off the floor. Both shoulders are down to the floor and down away from the ears. Pull the right knee down even more. Second set. Can you create one more deeper compression through the right side hip joint? Change, right leg down. Left leg up, 10 fingers interlaced, thumbs cross. Pull the left knee down towards the left shoulder. Right leg flat, calf muscle down. 
elbows in touching the sides. Pull the left knee down all the way. Touch the knee to the left shoulder. Hold it. Change, left leg down. Right away, both legs up. Grab your elbows over your legs, a couple of inches below the knees. Head back down. Push the crown of your head away from your tailbone. Tuck the chin slightly. So the back of your neck starts to flatten to the floor. Hold it there at your maximum. Shoulders away from ears. Whole spine flat. Release. Arms and legs down. Palms facing up. So what are, are they, these gunas? The, um, they're called, so rajas. Uh, Thomas and Sattva. They all have different characteristics. Toes and heels together, flex your feet. Arms up over your head, thumbs crossed, palms face up towards the ceiling. Inhale, sit up, forehead to knees. <laughs> Quick double exhale. Turn around, lay down on your stomach, chin out, neck flat on the floor, hands under your shoulders, glue the palms down, cobra pose, bhujangasana, legs together solid, contract your thighs, keep your chin forward, take in a deep breath, lift your chest up off the floor, come up, only your belly button touching the floor, the rest of your upper body is in the air, feel the back muscles contract especially lower back, squeeze it like a dirty sponge. Elbows in, elbows down towards the hips. Lift your chest up more, keep your legs solid, contract your thighs, lift your chest up, look for the ceiling, everybody lift. Change, slowly lower down, arms by your sides, look to the right, left ear on the floor. Chin out, neck flat on the floor, hands under your shoulders, glue your palms down, feet together, toes and heels touch, chin forward, eyes forward. Take in a deep breath, lift your chest up off the floor, come up. Second set, cobra. See if you can peel the upper body off the floor. One more higher, lift the rib cage up, lift your belly up so only the lower belly is touching, elbows in. Contract your thighs, shoulders away from your ears. Lift your chest up, lift your eyes up. Look for one new thing on the ceiling, lift. Yes, change, come back down. I love it, arms by your sides, look to the left. Right ear on the floor, relax. So rajas, something that is rajasic in nature is kind of fiery, it's passionate. It's um, trying to think of a really good word for it. Yeah, I think passion is probably the right way to go. Not necessarily like love passion, but it's just sort of like, uh, it's fiery. I want to go get that thing. It's that, it's that sort of energy that it embodies. Chin out, neck flat on the floor. Arms straight, walk your arms under the body. Elbows in, invisible underneath you. Little fingers touch side by side. Chin out, neck flat on the floor. Stretch the chin forward. Right leg solid, point the toes. Inhale, right leg lift up off the floor. Minimum 45 degrees. Press the finger pads down. Chin forward, if you have a mirror, Foot directly over the top of your head, leg up. Press the fingertips down, leg up. Roll the weight forward to your shoulders, lift up. Change, lower back down. Relax the right leg, left leg solid behind you. Inhale, left leg lift up. Press the fingers down. Stretch the chin forward. Try to get your whole throat to touch the floor. 
Leg up as high as you can. Point the left toes behind you. Contract your left thigh one more time. Lift. Chain. Come back down. Good. Turn the head down. Mouth on the floor. That was a nice lift right at the end, everybody. Head down. Feet together. Thighs contract. Take in a deep breath. Both legs lift up off the floor. Come up. Roll the weight forward to your shoulders. Mouth down. Shoulders down. Feet together, thighs contract. Everybody roll the weight forward. One more, everybody lift. Change, lower back down. Arms by your sides. Look to the right. Left ear on the floor. Chin out. Neck flat on the floor, second set. Arms straight, walk your arms under your body. Palms facing down. Little fingers touch, elbows in. Eventually, even the elbows touch under the body. Opening up the neck, the shoulders, the cervical spine. Point the right toes behind you. Inhale, right leg lift up off the floor. Right away, minimum 45 degrees, lift it higher. Cramp your butt, lift your leg higher. Press the fingertips down, push the chin forward, point the toes behind you, lift. Change, lower back down, relax the right. Left leg solid, point your toes. Inhale, left leg, lift up off the floor. Minimum 45 degrees, point your toes, yes. Push the chin forward, contract your thigh, point your toes. Everybody, left leg, lift. Change, lower back down, head down. Mouth on the floor. Walk your arms in closer together underneath your body. Elbows touch, mouth down, feet together, thighs contract. Take a deep breath, point your toes, both legs lift up off the floor, come up. Roll the weight forward to your shoulders. Good, Angelica, mouth down, shoulders down. Lift your legs up as high as possible. Shoulders down, mouth down, legs up, lift up, come up, go up, change, lower down. Arms by your sides, look to the left. Right here on the floor. The second one, tamas, something that's tamasic in nature is sort of, uh, it's lethargic, lethargic. It's, the, it's heavy in nature, kind of slow like molasses. Yeah, molasses would be tamasic. Actually, I don't know that for sure. I'd have to check. Chin out, neck flat on the floor. Arms straight. Walk the arms underneath the... Oh, sorry, we did that. Full locust, Purna Salabhasana. Arms out to the sides. Feet together, legs solid. Stretch the arms out as wide as possible. Open up the shoulders. Take in a deep breath. The arms, body, head, legs. Everything lift up off the floor. Come up. Only your hip bones touching. Chest up. Find the squeeze in the lower back, lift up. Find the squeeze in the middle back, with fingertips over the top of the head. Lift your legs, lift your chest, lift your hands up. One more, try to touch the ceiling, change. Come back down, arms by your sides. Look to the right, left ear on the floor, completely relax. Chin out, neck flat on the floor. Arms out to the sides, palms facing down, feet together, toes and heels touch. Stretch fingertips, open, open the shoulders, keep the hips down, take any deep, deep breath, arms, body, head, legs, lift up off the floor, come up. Fingertips up, chest, breastbone up, look up to the ceiling, lift your legs higher. Lift your chest higher, bring the fingertips up to the ceiling. Everybody, fingertips up, two more inches, then look up. Lift up, come up, change, lower back down. Arms by your sides, look to the left right here on the floor. Completely relax. And something that's sattvic in nature is balanced. It's harmonious. And as I was saying earlier, 
as the philosophy goes, as the thinking goes, everything in the material world has a little bit of each of those. But usually one is stronger. So like a, a chili pepper would be rajasic in nature, it's fiery. It lifts up the energy in the body. But not always necessarily in a good way. Chin out, neck flat on the floor. Same thing with tamasic. Something could slow you down, calm you down, but it, it could also really weigh you down too much. Bend your knees, grab your feet from the outside, little fingers right at the base of your toes. Hip width distance between the knees and the feet. Chin forward, point your toes behind you. Take in a deep breath. Gently kick your legs up towards the ceiling. Roll the weight forward, soft part of your belly down. Point your toes, bring your head up, your eyes up. Look for the ceiling, point your toes, look for your feet behind you. 100% back strength, try to Look for the ceiling, look for your toes behind you. Everybody kick. Change, slowly come back down. Arms by your sides, look to the right. Left ear relaxed on the floor, completely relax. Chin out, neck flat on the floor. Bend your knees, grab your feet from the outside. Little fingers right at the base of the toes. Hip width distance between the knees and the feet. Chin forward, eyes forward. Take in a deep breath. Gently kick your legs up towards the ceiling. Roll the weight forward. Soft part of the belly on the floor. Kick the toes up to the ceiling. Try to touch it. 100% back strength. Whole spine backward bending. Head up. Eyes up, look for the toes behind you. Kick the feet into the hands, feel the shoulders open and stretch. One more time, touch the ceiling, kick. Change, slowly come down. Yes, arms by your sides, look to the left. Right ear relaxed on the floor. So the part that I find really fascinating is the, the idea that we want to be sattvic in nature. We want to be balanced. And we can surround ourselves with things, food, energy, people, movies, whatever. We can surround ourselves with things that are more rajasic, more tamasic, or more sattvic, more balanced. And the things that we surround ourselves with affect us, affect how we are and move around the world, move throughout the world. Chin out, neck flat on the floor. Hands under your shoulders, push yourselves up. Come up to the top of your mats and towels, sit your hips down. Yoga is sattvic in nature. Sit the hips down in between the heels. Once the hips touch, Hands to your feet, use your elbows, slowly lower back. Right elbow, left elbow down, head back. Top of the head, back of the head, and shoulders. Whole upper body on the floor. Arms over your head. Grab your elbows, pull your elbows down, tuck your chin, look down the center line of your body. Yeah, go slow with your knees. This is great, everybody. If the knees are okay, press inner thighs closer together and press your knees down into the floor. Lift your breastbone up, tuck your chin one more. Change, hands back to your feet. Use your elbows, come all the way back up to the top and turn around, lie down in Savasana, feet to the back wall. A 
the music we listen to. can be, have any of those three aspects. And if we put that into practice and do it long enough, we start to embody that. And if we're practicing becoming more sattvic, more balanced, things in the outside world stop affecting us so much because we just live in that state of being. Toes and heels together, flex feet, arms up overhead, thumbs crossed, palms face up to the ceiling, inhale, sit all the way up, forehead to knees, <sighs> turn around. Sit the hips down, separate the feet, bring the hips down in between the heels, once your hips touch the floor, hands to your feet, use your elbows, lower back, left elbow, right elbow, head back, top of the head, back of the head, shoulders on the floor, arms over the head, grab your elbows, pull the elbows down, tuck your chin, lift your chest, breastbone up to the ceiling, hold it there. Press the inner thighs together one more. Change, hands to your feet, use your elbows, come all the way up to the top, turn around, lie down Savasana, feet to the back wall. And you really, like most of you guys, all of you guys have been practicing yoga long enough that you, you see it. You build a steady practice, you maintain it, and it's like magic, all of a sudden, things stop being as, as stressful as they once were. Little things that used to bug you don't anymore. Because you're just living in a state of being that's more balanced. Toes and heels together. Flex feet, arms up over your head, thumbs crossed, palms up to the ceiling. Inhale, sit up. <laughs> Double exhale, forehead to knees, turn around. Sit down, hips on the heels, bring your arms up over your head, palms touch. Cross only your thumbs, pull the belly in, stretch the fingertips up to the ceiling, slowly bend your body forward, forehead to the floor, little fingers to the floor, the rest of the arms in the air, palms together all the way up to the wrists, hips down and back touching the heels, forehead on the floor, chin away from the chest, stretch your fingertips forward away from the tailbone, lengthen through your spine, eventually the whole spine is straight, forehead touching the floor, hips down on the heels, take in one more deep breath, keep arms with ears and slowly come back up, arms and head together, release, arms down, turn around, lie down, Savasana, feet to the back wall. Okay, toes and heels together, flex feet, arms up overhead, thumbs crossed, palms up to the ceiling. Inhale, sit up, forehead to knees. <laughs> Double exhale, turn around. Hips on the heels, knees and feet together, arms up over the head, palms touch, cross only the thumbs, pull the belly in, stretch fingertips up, keep arms with ears, slowly bend your body forward, come down, forehead to the floor. Little fingers to the floor, the rest of the arms in the air, palms together, hips down to touch the heels. Stretch fingertips forward, away from tailbone, lengthen through the spine, make it active. Push the fingertips away. Feel the muscle contraction helping to create space. Touch the wall in front of you, hips down to the heels as much as possible, hold it there, eyes open, breathing calm, change. Arms with ears, come all the way back up to the top. Arms down, turn around, lie down the Savasana, feet to the back wall. I love the idea though, that it's not just a yoga practice. It's everything around us. The 
the things that we surround ourselves with, the people that we surround ourselves with. Toes and heels together, flex feet, arms overhead, thumbs crossed, palms face up. Inhale, sit up, forehead to knees. <laughs> Quick double exhale. Turn around. Stand up on your knees, hip width distance between the knees and the feet, the things that we allow into our bodies. Stand up on your knees, hands on your lower back, fingers point down, thumbs on the outside. Inhale, chest up, push your hips forward, slowly bring your head back as far as it goes. Come down halfway, look for the wall behind you, reach back, right hand to right heel, left hand to left heel, full palm grip on the heel. Push the palms down, push the breastbone up towards the ceiling, chest up, head back, eyes back. Look for the backage of your mat. What can you see behind you? Notice it, what are you looking at? Don't let the eyes dart around, hips forward. One more push, change. Hands back to lower spine, come all the way back up to the top, turn around, lie down, savasana, feet to the back wall. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, arms up over your head, thumbs crossed, palms face up towards the ceiling, inhale, sit up, forehead to knees. <laughs> Quick double exhale, turn around. Up on the knees, hip width distance between the knees and the feet, hands on your lower back, fingers point down, thumbs on the outside, inhale, chest up, slowly bring your head back as far as it goes. Hips forward, chest lifted, eyes way, way back. You're all the way back there, left hand to left heel, Right hand to right heel, full palm grip on the heels. Push the hands down, push the breastbone up towards the ceiling, head back, eyes back. Look back one more. Take your time, hands to lower spine, come all the way back up to the top, turn around, lie down, Savasana, feet to the back wall. Toes and heels together, flex your feet. Arms up over your head, thumbs crossed, palms up to the ceiling. Inhale, sit all the way up, forehead touches knees, quick double exhale. Turn around. Hips on heels, knees and feet together. Reach back, grab your feet from the outside, fingertips point in towards each other. Sasangasana, rabbit. Tuck your chin to your chest, throat choked. Pull the belly in, slowly round your body down, chin to chest, curl down, touch your forehead to your knees. Pull on your heels, lift your hips up, roll the weight forward. Forehead and knees stay touching. A little bit of weight on the top of the head. Tight grip on the heels, arms, elbows straight. Pull the belly in, lift your hips and roll the weight forward. Keep the tight grip on the heels. One more belly in. Change slowly, hips down, restack the spine, head up. Turn around, lie down, relax on your back, feet to the back wall. Counter stretch to your camel, lengthening down the whole back line of the body, stretching the spine. Toes and heels together, flex feet, arms up overhead, thumbs crossed, palms up to the ceiling, inhale, sit up, <laughs> quick double exhale, turn around, sit the hips down. Knees and feet together, reach back, grab your heels, fingertips point in towards each other. Tuck chin, pull the belly in tight. Inhale, slowly round your body down, chin to collarbone, curl down, curl in, touch forehead above the kneecaps. Pull on the heels, inhale, lift your hips, roll the weight forward, a little bit of weight on the top of the head. Forehead and knees stay touching. Pull on the heels, lift your hips, Roll forward, yeah. Arms, elbows straight, shoulders away from ears. Unhunch your shoulders, yes. Press the hands down into the feet. Pull on the heels, lift your hips, pull the belly in, roll forward, find your maximum. Change, hips back down to the heels. 
Restack the spine, head up. Turn around, lie down, Savasana, feet to the back wall. Toes and heels together, flex your feet. Arms up over your head, thumbs crossed. Palms face up to the ceiling, inhale. Sit all the way up, forehead to knees. <laughs> Quick double exhale. Turn around. Right leg out, left heel in. Head to knee and stretching, arms over the head. Stretch up, turn to the right. Round your spine, reach down, grab your foot. Touch your forehead to your knee. Roll into the left, left elbow, left shoulder down. Suck your stomach in, slide your forehead up as high as you can on your knee. Change, slowly come back up to the top. Left leg out, right heel in, stretch up, turn to the left. Tuck your chin, round your body down, grab your left foot. Touch forehead to knee. 10 fingers interlaced right at the ball of the foot. Roll into the right, right elbow down, right shoulder down. Suck your stomach in. Slide your forehead up as high as you can on the knee. Roll in. Change. Slowly come back up. Both legs out in front. Lie on your back. Arms up over your head. Thumbs crossed. Palms up to the ceiling. Inhale. Sit all the way up. Forehead to knees. <laughs> Quick double exhale. Grab the big toes. Walk your hips back. Right, left. Right, left. Flex all 10 toes back towards you. Paschimottanasana. Stretching. Take a deep breath. Lift the chest, pull on your toes, stretch your body forward, stomach on the thighs. Push your chest, breastbone forward, chest to the knees. Look at yourself in the mirror. Look at one spot on the wall in front of you. Elbows wide, push your elbows forward, bring your whole upper body down. Lengthen through the entire spine. Try to touch your forehead to your toes. Maximum stretch from heels to tailbone. Stretching from tailbone all the way up to the top of your head. Upper body down. Hold, change, slowly come back up, turn around, lie down, relax on your back, feet to the wall behind you. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, arms up over the head, thumbs crossed, inhale, sit all the way up, forehead to knees, <laughs> quick double exhale, turn around. Right leg out, left heel in. Arms up over the head, stretch up, turn to the right. Reach down, grab your right foot. 10 fingers interlaced right at the ball of your foot. Roll in, right shoulder, right elbow down. Suck your stomach in. Slide your forehead up as high as you can on the knee. Roll in, roll in, change. Slowly come back up, arms up over the head. Left leg out, right heel in, stretch up. Turn left, tuck chin, round over. Grab foot, touch forehead to knee, roll into the right, right elbow, right shoulder down. Heel forward, toes back. Slide the forehead up as high as you can on the knee, really around the spine, just like rabbit pose, forehead higher, hold it, and change. Slowly come back up. Both legs out in front of you, lie down on your back, arms up over your head, thumbs crossed. Inhale, sit all the way up, Grab big toes, nice tight grip, thumb, middle, index finger. Walk your hips back, right, left, right, left. Pull, flex the feet back, inhale, lift the chest, breastbone up, and go. Stretch your body forward from the lower spine, stomach on the thighs. Push the chest, breastbone forward, chest to the knees, elbows out, elbows forward, bring your upper body down. Good, lengthen through the spine. Eyes stay forward, focus one spot on the wall in front of you. Try to touch your forehead to your toes, hold it. Maximum stretch. Change, come back up, turn around, lie down, Savasana, feet to the back wall. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, arms over your head, thumbs crossed, inhale, sit all the way up. Quick double exhale, forehead to knees. Turn in your space for spine twist. Bend your left knee on the floor. Bring your right foot up and over, heel touching the knee. 
both hips on the floor, spine straight. Stretch left arm up, bring it over the knee, push the knee back, reach down, grab your left knee with your left hand, hand, knee, ankle touch. Right arm behind you, bring it on your back, palm facing out. Grab your hip, your inner thigh with your right hand fingertips. Lift your chest, look over the right shoulder, twist. It's good, Tara. Everybody lift the breastbone, turn, twist your head, look over the right shoulder, push the elbow against the knee. Take the right elbow, push it back towards the wall behind you, chin over your shoulder, look back, twist back all the way, change, come back to the center. Resetting the spine, bend your right knee on the floor, bring your left foot up and over, both hips on the floor, spine straight, right arm stretch up, over the knee, <clears throat> push the knee back with the help of the elbow, grab the right knee, hand, knee, ankle touch, left arm stretch out behind you, bring it on your back. Palm facing out, grab your hip, your thigh behind you with your left hand fingertips, lift your chest, turn, twist your head, look over your left shoulder, twist, push the right elbow against the knee, push the left elbow back towards the wall behind you. Good, can you hug the elbow in, Michael, even closer to your body? Yeah, nice. Everybody turn, twist the head, Chin over the left shoulder, look back, twist back, more back, look for the wall behind you, change, turn around, lie down on your back, savasana. Beautiful class, everyone, toes and heels together, flex your feet, arms over your head, thumbs crossed, inhale, sit all the way up, forehead to knees, <laughs> quick double exhale, turn around. Hips on your heels, knees and feet together. The final breathing exercise. Couple of bati breathing, chest up, eyes focused forward one spot. Exhaling just like you're blowing out a candle. Swallow a few times. Snap the belly in, begin. <laughs> exhale, 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 exhale. Chest up, spine straight. Five, four, three, two, one. Readjust, swallow a few times. Faster second set. Keep the chest lifted. Here we go. Begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Turn around, lie down, relax on your back. Let the arms and legs fall open, close your eyes. Yeah, little lights down, good. Arms and legs fall open, palms face up to the ceiling. Let your body melt into the floor. Completely relax. So important. to take care of yourself on a daily basis. Build it into your routine. Sometimes we can't make it into the studio. I mean, now more than ever, but It's okay to not have to take a 90 minute class every single day. 
Take that pressure off yourself. If you want to do that, great. But to find little things that you can work into your daily practice that you always have. To start to build that balance, to promote that sattvic nature. That's what this 100-day wellness challenge is going to be all about. Take your time in your final savasana, everyone. Beautiful class this morning. It's so good to see all of your faces. Have an amazing rest of your day. And whether it's in the studio or on Zoom, we'll see you again soon. Namaste. Namaste.